Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and in this video what I'm going to do is start uh, learning about how to make back-end web applications using Ruby's Sinatra web framework. Um, basically, think of Sinatra as similar to Express in Node.js in the same way that Django in Python is similar to Ruby on Rails where it's like batteries included, um, has all the bells and whistles, Rails and Django, while Express and Sinatra are more minimalist. You kind of start with nothing and you build up. So Sinatra actually makes Express look a little complicated, uh, <laughs> which, is, which is pretty funny because let's, let's take a look at the basic uh, setup. Okay, so I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this, nope, not in there. I'm going to call this Project 2. Nope, not in there. There we go. Project 2. And we're going to start off by creating a new gem file. Again, a gem file is like package.json in, um, in uh, the node environment, where basically it's a file that lists all your dependencies. So what you're going to do is you're just going to type in gem Sinatra. Okay. Cool. And with that, if you don't, I already have Sinatra installed, okay? The cool thing about the way the Ruby dependencies work is that when you download them once, they're on your computer. So like Node, where you download them over and over again for every project. So if it's the first time you've used Sinatra, then at this point, what you'd want to do is use Bundler to install all your dependencies that you've chosen. So you would type in like bundle install. And actually, let me go to project two. And then it goes and installs all the things. Okay. Cool. And then so you got your gem file.lock. Then once you've done that, um, you're pretty much set to go. Just create a new file. We'll call it server.rb. And in server.rb, we're just going to require Sinatra. And we just do our first route. We just type in, hey, we're doing a get route to the root. And that route's going to do the following. And all we're going to do is return the string, hello world. And that's it. You've made an application. OK, so then all we do is type in Ruby Sinatra dot RB. I mean, that's Sinatra dot RB, server dot RB. And see, it spins up a server on port 4567. So let's head over there. Localhost, no, not 3000. 4567. And see, hello world. See, simple as that. Okay, simple, 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 simple. Cool. Let's just keep showing some other functionality. And then you could also do query, uh, you could do parameters and queries like so. So let's create another route called get and a query or a, a URL param is just like an express where you put a colon and the variable name cheese. Okay, and then we'll say do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to return JSON. So we might as well show you how to return JSON data too. So the return JSON data, you can just do content type macro. And then we're going to send in the symbol JSON. That tells it that we're going to be sending back JSON data as a response. And what we're going to send back is a Ruby object or hash. OK, and this hash, we're going to send back our param, which is going to be, and the way you access a param is you type in params. And you type in the string of the variable cheese. Okay, so basically this this part of the URL will be referred to as cheese. And I'm gonna show you that you can do this access a query in the same way. So here we'll put a query, which will equal params query. Okay, and then we hit end. And then that is that. So let's see a sit save. Let's 
restart the server. So control C, then Ruby server.rb. So now if I go to 4567 slash Gouda for cheese, and then we'll do a query. So question mark query equals hello world. And watch what happens. I didn't return what I think it was going to return. Did I did something. Uh, param. Param's cheese. That makes sense that that would be that. Param's query. Slash cheese do. Let's say I do this. Return. Just make that return explicit. Let's restart the server. Form that roll right. Gouda. Yeah, that should be fine. Let me take a look at how I did it in my practice project. Make sure that I see I didn't do anything different. Content type JSON. Oh, I see. I have to add dot to JSON at the end of the at the end of that. So there we go. Kill the server, restart it. And there you go. So see, the param is Gouda, and the query is hello world, and being sent back as JSON. So, as you, you already can see, this is pretty powerful what you can do. Okay, and that's just the basics, and see, like, that's just only a handful of lines of code. It didn't take much to do just that. Okay, and then again, if you wanted to do something like a post or a get, you would just change, or post, or put, or delete, you just change the word right here to whatever the, the right you want to do. Okay, so very, very nice. In the next video, I'll show you some more tricks. This is the first video on Sinatra. And already with this, you can do uh, a lot.